Biomass. What is it and why do we use it? In ecology, biomass is the mass of living organism in a given area at a specific time. This can refer to species biomass, where we look at biomass of one or more species, or to community biomass, for example, if we want to compare the productivity of different units. It is generally expressed as mass per unit area, or it could be the total mass in a community. Looking at this crab image here, taken from the internet, shows a good reason why we use biomass. If we were to take the mass of every stone and stick and bit of algae that it had glued to itself, that wouldn't be an accurate reflection of the mass of that organism or of the energy it has stored inside. So biomass is about just looking at the mass of living organism. For example, for a snail, we'd remove the shell. Same goes for hermit crab, and crabs like this. So we end up with the mass of the actual organism, not of the extra dead material that they carry around. Now let's look at why in a bit more depth. If we look at the typical idea in ecology, there's a lot of energy in our producers, less energy in our herbivores, less energy in our carnivores, our third trophic levels. We can label these, primary trophic level, secondary, tertiary trophic level. Now what's happening here, these guys are losing energy via respiration. So if we look at the total amount of energy in here, some is lost by respiration, leaving less available to be given here. Look at the amount of energy in this trophic level, a lot is given out as respiration and movement and other things, meaning less is available to go here, creating a smaller biomass. So if we look at the amount of energy in trophic levels, it drops. Of course, energy is really hard to measure in ecology. We have to capture organisms, dry them, slice them, then burn them to see the energy there. Very destructive and a lot of work. So a much easier idea would be to look at numbers. We would expect to see the same sort of thing. Lots of producers, fewer herbivores, fewer carnivores. So if we were to look at numbers, we expect to see this. However, we get cases where this doesn't happen. Consider the example where we have one large tree, many insects eating that tree. Fewer birds eating the insects, predatory birds, even fewer up here. We don't see the idea of decreasing energy as we go up when we look at numbers in the case of a tree. In the case of one tree being our producer for the system we're looking at. Numbers are therefore not accurate, but actually the energy is too hard to measure. So people come up with the idea, let's measure biomass, because in actual fact, People come up with the idea of, let's measure biomass. Much easier to measure the energy and more accurate to measure than just numbers. So when we actually take the mass of our tree, it's huge. The mass of our insects eating the tree, much less. Mass of our next trophic level, less. We suddenly have a much easier way to measure what's going on between different trophic levels. Not as difficult to measure as energy where we have to capture samples, kill them, slice them, dry them, then burn them to get energy. More accurate than numbers and reflecting the key idea of ecology of energy flowing in through and out. Because of losses at each trophic level, the following trophic level must have less energy.